Hello everyone, this is separation process course. In this video, we are going to discuss the second type of uh, liquid liquid extraction processes, which is the cross current, the cross current, multi stage, the cross current, multi stage, liquid liquid extraction. So, we are still talking about liquid liquid extraction. But in this time, we are going to discuss the multi-stage. Multi-stage means we have more than one vessel, two, three, four, whatever. Okay. And what's the meaning of a cross current? Cross current is like parallel. It's like when you have a parallel flow. What do you mean by this? Uh, it's better to draw this. For simplicity, let's consider the case of two stages. And again, what applies for two stages? applies for three stages, four stages, five stages, whatever. Okay, so for simplicity, let's start by the case of two stages. Suppose we have two stages. This is stage number one, and this is stage number two, two vessels. Okay, uh, so we have this two stages. And then what happens? Our feed, our feed, enters the first stage so we have here feed with x heat but instead of using solvent only in one stage no we are going to split it we are going to split the solvent to the two stages so we are going to add a solvent here and the solvent there with a composition xs and composition xs okay so and let's agree on something. Whatever stream is going out of the stage is gonna hold its number. What do I mean by this? I mean when, for example, when we mix our feed and our solvent, so this inside this stage is gonna be M1 because of it is stage one and we're gonna have XM1 because it is stage one. And we're gonna have E1 first extract with a composition XE1 because it is first stage, and the outlet gonna be R roughing it. So I'm going to call it R1 roughing it one with composition XR1. And then what happens in multi stage that we take this roughing it and use it as a feed to the other stage, okay. So we use a raffinate, raffinate as a feed to the other stage, the raffinate from first stage as a feed to the second stage. And then we're gonna feed a solvent again to this stage. Then what happens when we mix them, we're gonna get M2. Why 2? Because it is stage 2. And we're gonna get XM2 because it is stage 2. And then we're gonna have the extract we call it e2 not e1 sorry e2 because it is from the second stage and x e2 okay and we're gonna have a raffinate which says r2 with a composition x r2 and again if we have three stages four stages same idea we're gonna take this raffinate and feed it to the third stage and so on okay okay uh, the question here we are not going to determine the number of stages we want to determine we want to determine what our target is a performance calculation performance calculation means that we are interested in getting we are interested in getting uh, well interested in getting the uh, E1 and XE1 okay and R1 XR1 E2 XE2 R2 and XR2 so we are interested in these things again we can uh, we can make a simple material balance exactly as we did before for the single stage 
but now we're gonna have more than one material balance for each stage you can do a material balance for example for example for the first stage you can do this material balance f plus s is equal to m1 is equal to e1 plus r1 and again x f f plus x s s is equal to x m1 m1 is equal to x e1 e1 plus x r1 r1 this is for the first stage and similarly for the second stage you can make also a material balance for the second stage like this the feed for the second stage is r1 feed is r1 to the second stage so you're gonna see you're gonna say r1 plus s is equal to m2 is equal to e2 plus r2 and similarly x r1 r1 plus x s s is equal to x m 2 m2 is equal to x e2 e2 plus x r2 r2 okay so you can do this simple material balance while you are doing this material balance because we will need this material balance same as single stage but now we will need this material balance why first to get x m1 x m2 then to get what to get e1 and r1 e2 and r2 okay so first we can get x m1 and x m2 why to get the mixing point as you can expect for the single stage we had only one mixing point one m point one m point but for multi-stage we're gonna have more than one it depends on how many stages we have for example in our example here we have two stages we have two stages so we're gonna get two m points two m points which is x m1 and x m2 okay then after we get this two m points we're gonna do the, the same thing in order to get x e1 x r1 x e2 x r2 then so this is our strategy the strategy is to use the two graphs use the two graphs these two graphs uh let me draw them the strategy is to use the two graphs to use this two graph graphs along with the mixing points m1 and m2 our mix oh, let me call them because mixing point are determined by the composition so they are the m.1 and m.2 which are determined from x m1 and x m2 okay then you use them in order to get x e1 and x r1 x e2 and x r2 then once you get these you go back to your material balance you go back to your material balance equations and see how many unknowns we have here after we get x r1 and x e1 x r2 and x e2 how many unknowns only four e1 r1 e2 r2 and you have four equations four unknowns four equations you can solve them simultaneously to get e1 r1 e2 and r2 okay so again the question here to do this to get e1 r1 e2 r2 as we agreed we need to get what we need to get x e1 x r1 x e2 x r2 so the question here is how we are going to get them again it's simple exactly same as uh, exactly same as previous lecture for single stage how uh, simply we can draw the two curves as we discussed before we're gonna draw two curves okay but for simplicity and yeah, let's assume let's say and uh, let's say this curve let's say this curve we already drew it and it is somewhere just because i want to zoom in this curve 
I want to zoom in this in this curve. Okay, so uh, you can imagine and that this curve exists somewhere beside it. Okay, so imagine it exists, and I'm go I want only to focus on uh, on the uh, on this uh, curve on this uh, diagram component diagram. Okay. And, so, and the, imagine, imagine and uh, the second diagram is somewhere here. The second diagram is somewhere beside it. Okay? So again, what we do, we specify this is our C, this is B, and this is A. Okay? Then you draw the equilibrium curve. So this is your raffinate curve. And then this is the extract curve. Okay, and uh, again you do the given data. Okay, then exactly same as we did before. First, we locate our xf and xs. So suppose suppose our xf is somewhere here. This is our xf, and suppose our xs is here. This is xs. Then again, what you do, you connect. XF with XF XF with XS oh, it should be straight line it should be as to the best of your ability it's straight line ok I think ok straight line then what you do again you specify your xm1 so let's say let's say you calculate xm1 by material balance and you got xm1 somewhere here this is xm1 then you determine this as your m1 point this is gonna be your m1 point okay so this is gonna be your m1 point then again exactly same idea you search for a tie line where you intersect this point so again it's trial and error you go here and as i said imagine another is a curve here so you go here and then move as we discussed exactly and go back and then connect and see didn't intersect m then repeat 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 until you find the tie line that intersect the m1 point okay once you intersect the M1 point, then this is going to be your XE1. Uh, this is going to be your XE1. And this is going to be your XR1. Okay? Then, what you do? What you do? Okay. Uh, what you do? Because we got our XE1 and XR1. Then what you do, as we said before, the raffinate is going to be your feed to the second stage. The feed to the second stage. So this will be your new feed. So you connect this with XS. Okay? Because now this is your new feed to the second stage. Okay? So we connect it we connect them against straight line you connect these two these two xs with your raffinate point okay then again you find xm2 by material balance as we discussed before then suppose you get your x2 is somewhere here for example uh, let's say somewhere here xm2 then you move here yeah this is gonna be your m2 point yeah this one somewhere here this is gonna be your m2 point this is gonna be your m2 point for the second stage then you do again the same story, exactly same story. 
you search for a tie line where it intersect this M2 so suppose you did it and as I said you need to have your base diagram here somewhere beside it okay then suppose you find it then yeah you search for a tie line where you intersect the M2 point once you get it then once you get it then this gonna be your uh, this gonna be your uh, uh, this gonna be your x e2 and this gonna be your x r2 okay so how many stages we have here it is two stages this is the first tie line is the first stage the second tie line is the second stage and that's it so now you have you got x e1 x r1 x e2 and x r2 then once you got these two from where we got them from the tie lines this is x e1 x r1 x e2 x r2 once you got you got them you go back to material balance equation and get e1 r1 e2 r2 for unknowns for equations so you can solve them simultaneously and that's it this is the way that you can solve the cross current multi-stage liquid liquid extraction uh, in the next video we are going to discuss the third type of the liquid liquid extraction multi-stage process which is the counter current multi-stage liquid liquid extraction thank you for your listening i wish you all the best